If you guys haven't already, go and watch our previous video on the Rocklight install on the 850. Um, but if you already have, thank you guys for tuning in today. As you guys can tell, by the title of the video, we will be installing the OEM Factory can snorkel on the four-wheeler. Um, now, a lot of you guys might ask why we're going with this snorkel instead of a higher or different snorkel. Um, because, well, reason is because it's going to look OEM, it's going to look factory, and it doesn't void the warranty on the bike. So. Um, that's really the main reason we're going with that. As so what you guys are going to need is this factory OEM snorkel from Can-Am. Uh, in that kit it comes with this, the riser tube, as well as the stickers that go on the side, new um, clamps, and some rivets to fasten it to the new gauge pod. Now additional things you will need are these bar um, barb fittings to extend the factory vent lines some uh hose to extend the vent lines as well and the major thing is you're gonna have to go ahead and pick up one of these um can -Am gauge pods for like a xx no not the xx yeah the xxc i guess has them um and like the xt these are the uh, ones that gauge pods you find on those you have to get one of those so you can cut a hole in it so the new snorkel can pop up through it like so so that's basically all the things you need to uh successfully do this job um you guys can see i already pulled this off uh just to you know make the job a little easier but these are our vent lines right here we have to extend as well as this one uh, but real simple easy job shouldn't take as long the main thing is we have to remove this pot gauge pot put it in that one but before we do that we need to cut a hole in that one all right so um the factory vent tube sits just like this as you can see um can am being a pain but i actually just flipped this one but actually they had it flipped to where the the head was over here made it pretty difficult to get to but um i went ahead and flipped it so when we put it back together everything's on this side it's easy to get to but you can see as how the factory xmr snorkel curved around and went up right here so that's gonna come out just like that. You wanna remove this metal piece right here and transfer it to your new snorkel. As you can see the difference between them, I would say probably a good six inches of rise out of that. Um, so like I said, we're gonna go ahead and move this little bugger. Doing this with one hand, bear with me get rid of that and we're gonna slide that in to right here like that and pushing it as far as away as far in as you possibly can it's gonna bottom out right here so it won't go in too far and what you want to do um, is they provide two new clips or clamps with the kit or you can use the old ones. So I'm just gonna use the old ones, put this two new ones to the side in case of an emergency and we're gonna go with it. So uh, let me get that get the new clip or the old clamp back on here and I'm gonna slide this booger back in. So now we got the new or the factory clamp back on there. I'm gonna go ahead and slide this back in. Try to do this with one hand, bear with me. Actually slid in pretty, pretty easy. All right, so you can see Can-Am actually does you a favor and actually notches these hoses. You can see right there, it's a notch helping you line this up. And if you do that, it lines up perfectly between this cutout like they already knew we were gonna do this. Um, turn that cut out like that and uh, come straight up. So you gotta see like, it kind of makes that rhino like horn, like on the uh, XMR Renegades, which is kind of cool and OEM. So like I said, that's the main reason we're doing this. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that up, get this right. And then we're gonna move on to cutting our dash pod. 
All right, so next up, ready to extend our vent lines. You guys can see I got these brass um, male to male bar fittings. We're just gonna extend our vent lines up to about the same height as the snorkel. Um, the fittings that I got, I, you can get these from Lowe's. These are a quarter inch by quarter inch bar fittings, male to male. And the hose that I actually use, let me see if I can find the tag for it. Yeah, here it is. The uh, hose that I actually got is uh, a quarter inch inner diameter and uh, three eighths outer diameter. Got 10 foot of it. That's gonna be plenty enough to extend all six of these. Um, so that's it. I'm um, about to go ahead. I gotta see where I even put the, the hose at, guys. I'm tripping. You guys are gonna have to excuse me. I'm a little just gonna buy um, Hurricane Irma or Ida. I'm sorry, Irma. Hurricane Ida just hit here in Louisiana um, a day ago. So I'm a little rusty making videos, one. And two, I've been just all over the place doing stuff. So I'm kind of not focused like I should be. So excuse this video if you guys, you know, it's a little off for you guys, but uh, yeah, this is the hose we got. I'm gonna go ahead, um, extend each one of them. Just like, like I said, it's probably like six inches of hose, each per, per hose that we need to extend up. And uh, I'm gonna zip tie everything up nice and neat. And we're gonna go ahead and drop on our snorkel horn after that, cut our hole and mount that and we'll be done guys. So like I said, easy, easy, simple install. Um, definitely an OEM look and that's what i'm going for so uh give me a second and get this wrapped up and on to the next step all right guys so went ahead zip tied the vent lines and extended them here you see that all nice and neat it's about the same profile as the snorkel so now after that i went ahead and i already cut the hole for the snorkel to pop out of the new dash pod, brand new dash pod, and we gotta cut a hole into it. Yeah, I know. So, went ahead and did that. That's gonna slide right over here, just like this. And slide down in place, and the snorkel riser will go on top of this. So, next up, what I'm about to do now is actually take this snorkel riser. We're gonna put it on top of here, like so and we're gonna mount it. So, I'm gonna drill two holes right here, hole on this side and the hole on the other side in the same spot, and we're gonna actually rivet it to this plastic piece, and they provide everything you need right here in this package. So, got four rivets right there. Go ahead and get my rivet gun, and we're gonna go ahead and install those so we can get this thing on, guys. Um, I'm excited to get it on. I know it's gonna look killer, it's gonna look sick. What we're gonna do now is actually remove the gauge cluster from the um, factory XMR um, dash pod, gauge pod, and we're gonna move it over to this one. You guys can see, we got the snorkel riser on there. It's just, we haven't riveted on yet, but it's pretty secure. Um, I drilled these holes super, super tight. So uh, there's really no wiggle. And uh, you can see there, it ain't coming apart. So, like I said, about to go ahead and get this. I think it's a star bit that holds this cover on. Something like that. So I'm gonna grab a bit for that. We're gonna remove this and move it over to this cage pod. And that'll be pretty much it. You will have to reuse these clips from here. So don't throw this away or get rid of it. Discard this until you take off these clips. All right guys, so we got it installed. Looks really good. I got the seam super, super tight. So there's no really, really no gaps on it. Um, 
One tip, do not forget to install these gold washers right here. When you put the rivets through, make sure you put that, that gold washer right there on the back side. That's gonna keep that plastic from uh, taking all the load when this flexes and stuff. So that's the finished product, guys. Looks really good. Got the gauge pod back in. So next step is we gotta throw this thing completely back on the four-wheeler, button everything up, plug everything up, back up, and we're gonna take it for a rip. And there it goes, guys. We have the intake horn on, and it is looking sweet. Yes, sir. All right, guys, so we got the snorkel completely finished and buttoned up. Uh, we did a little fine tuning after uh, the last clip you guys saw. The uh, My camera actually ran out of space, so it stopped recording. Um, so I ended up just finishing and wrapping up everything. So basically what I'm gonna show you guys is what I did after the camera cut off. But here you go, here's the snorkel. It fits super, super good, guys. Just like it should, OEM plastics, OEM, you know, design, everything. So you can see it here. The gaps are actually really nice. There's no huge gaps anywhere here. But um, I will say one thing you should do or will have to do if you want it to fit perfect. I ended up having a trim of just a tad bit off the, um, I think it's the belt box intake right here. It wants to be a pain in the butt now. I'm on camera, but we're gonna get it. There we go. So we got it popped off. You guys can see right here, the belt box intake. I actually ended up having to trim just a tad bit back on it as you can see and I did that because when you would put this new plastic down snap it all in it would leave a gap probably like that much and it would sit kind of tilted a little bit so I found that if I cut just a little bit just trimmed a little bit of this little plastic back it wouldn't it wouldn't contact whatever it's hitting under here and then that allows it to actually fit down like it should. Nice and tight, so that's just a little tip. See like that, snap it back in place like so. And it looks good. So like I said before, if I didn't trim that plastic back, it left a little gap and it didn't look good to me. So I went ahead and trimmed it and that's what you get. Everything fits, the fit and finish on it is super nice. And as that should be expected from an OEM product, but definitely, definitely recommend going with the k and OEM snorkel riser over the other brands. If you're planning on not going super crazy with your bike, maybe down the line, we, like I said, we may, you know, go with a different style, being that if we go bigger with the bike, we're gonna plan on going a lot deeper and so on. So I'm not Xing that out, but for now, this is the look I'm going for. And to me, it looks the best. So uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please go down below, hit the like button, subscribe button, and also turn the notification button if you guys haven't already. Let me know what you guys want to see on the channel next. Uh, is it, if it's quad, you know, content, truck content, um, whatever it is, let me know. And we're going to make it happen. So hope you guys enjoy it. Please have a good day. Stay safe. Peace.